In piano playing, one of the greatest causes of discomfort and injury is the accumulation of muscular tension and the resulting stresses that tension places on the body and mind. Surely you need some muscular tension to play the piano, but almost everyone finds they can play better when they discover their excess tension patterns and can let go of them. Nowadays, the accumulation of muscle tension is often accepted, even by many within the medical community, as a natural byproduct of playing the piano. The solution most commonly offered is to take frequent breaks to allow the muscles to relax and refresh themselves. But there's an even better solution. We believe that it's possible to play in such a way that muscle tension is never accumulated because the muscles continually release their tension and refresh themselves as we play. As we will demonstrate later, it's possible to play even the most demanding technical pieces without accumulating any muscle tension at all. Now let's listen as Glenn explains how the brain controls our muscle use. Learning to perform highly complex physical activities begins in an early age with a complex set of signals sent between the body and the brain. By trial and error, we learn how to walk, talk, eat, sing, run, do virtually anything. This signaling system is called neuromuscular programming. A friendly word if we understand that neuro refers to the nervous system and muscular to the muscular system. The neuromuscular dialogue between the body and the brain can be likened to current flowing through a switchboard connected to millions of lights. In its simplest form, if a light is on, it means a signal is being sent to contract the muscle. If the light is off, no signal is sent and the muscle remains in a relaxed state. Throughout the day, various lights go on and off. When you sleep, the switchboard is darker. Imagine for a moment the plight of muscles which have received non-stop signals to contract for years and years on end. This debilitating syndrome is what we commonly refer to as chronic muscle tension. It's a condition extremely common throughout the neck and shoulders and even the arms of many pianists. Moreover, due to a phenomenon called sensory motor amnesia, most pianists with this condition no longer even feel the tension. So how can this problem be reversed? First, we must regain conscious awareness of the state of these muscles. Next, we need to take back conscious control of these muscles. And finally, we need to learn the principles and sensations of efficient muscle use. In this way, we can eliminate chronic muscle tension and prevent its return. Fortunately, the vast majority of pianists can rid themselves of chronic muscle tension and the stresses and injuries it creates. However, this process of neuromuscular reprogramming is rigorous and can take from six weeks to a year or more to complete. <laughs> 